What's up YouTube, it's LDS Reliance. Uh, today I'm going to shoot a video of a, a new Peltier cooling device that I'm uh, designing. This one's going to be uh, based on water cooling instead of um, the air-to-air -air, um, heat sinks that I did last time. So here I've got all of my components. Actually before I get into that, this uh, <clears throat> this request for this device, I'd actually been thinking about doing this device for a while, but I got a uh, a, a message from one of my subscribers uh, named Joe, who uh, who sent me a request to to uh, to build a, this kind of a device. which kind of gave me the the excuse to build it. And uh, what what I'm going to be designing here basically is something that's going to be used to cool liquid. Um, I won't get into the uh, specific application, but uh, we're going to try this out. We're going to test it. Basically, what we've got here is we've got a uh, a CPU cooler. Uh, this is a Corsair unit. It's H60. Um, it's just kind of a basic um, liquid cooling uh, for gamers, you know, for PC enthusiasts. Uh, it's just a um, a cold plate, basically, uh, with a water pump, and it circulates water through this this little mini radiator, and then this fan blows through the radiator keep the radiator cool so that's going to be the hot side this is going to shed heat from the hot side of the Peltier device or Peltier device <clears throat> here I've got my Peltier um, I've got it labeled I've already done the testing this is the cold side this is the hot side <clears throat> this is the going to be the cold plate that's on the other side on the cold side of the Peltier um, this is just kind of a cheap um, item from uh, Amazon that I ordered should get the job done um, got some various mounting hardware for this basically what's going to happen is this this thing's going to be sandwiched between these two cold plates uh, or uh, you know aluminum water sinks or whatever you want to call them I've got some hose clamps some acrylic uh, not acrylic vinyl hose uh, I've got a, a submersible water pump this is going to sit inside the liquid that we want to be cool um, and it's going to it's intakes through here and then it um, pushes water up that way so basically this I'm going to rig up this is a self-contained side for the hot side I'm going to build a different side for the cold side so that this pump can sit inside the the liquid and circulate it through this cold plate and cool it down uh, we've got some arctic silver just to help with the transfer between the, the Peltier device and the, the cold plates. And here's going to provide our power. Basically this is a super cheap uh, Chinese made um, laptop charger. This is a 60 watt um, unit. I've just cut the head off of it um, and you just have your normal red and black uh, 12 volt DC uh, power right there. So that'll be easy to, you know, connect to the Peltier device and so forth. So here's my raw materials. I'm going to assemble everything and kind of show you what it looks like and then we're going to do some testing. Okay, I've got this thing assembled now. Now it's not super pretty because this is just a prototype and we're just using it for testing but um, basically I was able to find some some hardware to kind of clamp this thing together. Um, obviously that needs work and uh, will not make it into the final version of whatever I build but it works for now, it, it keeps things uh, pushed together um, I've got it wired um, the pump and uh, the two fan, the, the two pumps and the fan are wired to one laptop adapter for, and that will be well short of 60 watts uh, used but the Peltier needs its own because it is a 60 watt Peltier and this is a 60 watt adapter so that's why there's two adapters and then I've got about two feet of of the uh, latex um, uh, hose and uh, so we're ready to put this thing, use some water and test this thing out and see how cold it'll get okay so here we have our test rig set up <coughs> um, here I've got a container, use a clear container so we can kind of see a little bit better what's going on. This is exactly four cups of water. 
Um, we've got the pump submerged in it, um, and it is drawing water in through this um, nozzle or whatever there. And then the water is going through these tubes into this water block on the bottom, this, the blue thing. And then it's getting cold, uh, cooled down by the cold side of the Peltier. And then it's coming back through here and gets expelled through that open-ended hose there. On the hot side, we just have the the water block that's built into this CPU cooler device and there's a water pump in, uh, built into that as well and it sends the hot water, I don't know which side is which, but <clears throat> sends it in to the radiator this fan is pushing air through the radiator and helping cool it down, but the radiator dissipates the heat and then the, the cooled down hot side liquid then comes back into the water block to repeat the process Okay, this has been running for about three hours or so, and as you can see, we've gotten to about 44 degrees in the water. Water's uh, the condensation on the lines kind of gives it away how cold it is. It's nice, good drinking water temperature. Um, it doesn't take all that time to get to get cold. It'll it'll get to about 50 degrees in about an hour. But uh, to get, uh, I've seen it go to down to about 43 uh, in my testing, so that's pretty pretty good. You don't want it to get down to freezing level and start having problems with the pump and and stuff like that. So uh, this has been very successful. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching. This has been much better, more efficient than uh, the air cooled setup. It's it's more expensive, obviously, but if you're going to be making a you know an ice box freezer, refrigerator, or something like that. This is definitely a, a very viable option to, to, you know, we're only using a 5 amp Peltier device. I mean, that's, that's crazy that we can cool that much water with just that little bit of power. So much more efficient and uh, hopefully we'll do some more playing around with this and get, get some more uh, good prototypes like a refrigerator working. Thanks for watching.